Welcome to iMindMap for Web. I'm here to give you an overview of the application and how to make the most of its features. If you don't already have an account, please click register and complete your details. If you do have an account, please log in by entering your username and password and then clicking login. Upon logging in, you'll see the What's New page. Here you can see all the latest iMindMap news and articles, plus view your Freedom subscription if you have one, and access the download links for the desktop software and mobile applications. On the top menu, you'll notice the Contacts button. Clicking this takes us to the Contacts area. This is a great place to link with your friends and colleagues. As well as Contacts, iMindMap features Contact Groups. Contact groups are a centralized group of contacts who have something in common, maybe a new project, or it could be a group of people who share a common interest. To search for a contact, click Find People at the top of the page and type their name or email address. Once you've found who you're looking for, just click the tick button, then select Yes to send the invitation request. As soon as the other party accepts the invitation, you can share maps between you with varying levels of permission. This is your Maps area. All the maps you have in iMyMap Cloud are visible here, as well as any maps that are shared with you by other parties. On the left you'll see the main folders. The most common ones you'll use are All Mind Maps, My Mind Maps, Shared with Others, and Shared with Me. In addition to the folder list, you'll see a number of buttons along the top menu, which will help with some of the tasks you'll need to work with maps. To get map-specific tools, Simply click on a map and you'll see the map details and additional options appear on the right column of the page. For this demonstration, we'll share a map with our new friend, Robert. To do this, select a map, click Change next to the sharing area and select the permission that Robert should have for the map, either View or Edit. Then, to save the settings, click Save Changes. This map will now be available on all your devices, as well as Robert's. Here you can see the online editor, which can be accessed at app.imindmap.com. Here you can create and edit mind maps.